So we're making soup. We got a pretty sunny day. The little girl's watching a show. Not feeling too great, so don't feel like going outside today. Yeah. And let's see what we're making here. It's coming together. <coughs> we were pulling double that with the microwave on, but what do we got coming in today? Let's see, we made, still got 1600 watts coming in, but we need 11 and a half kilowatts there, 11 and a half kilowatts there. And uh, everything's just working real good. Check it out, guys. Started work on the 8,000 watt again. Reliable sent me uh, a new output board, so we'll be able to get that thing running again. They did change something on it too. Let's see if I can show you. I don't know if this did much, but they put an extra. I don't know if that's a. Come on, focus you. I don't know if that's a resistor or a cap on top. Something hopefully to help help these things. We'll see. Time will tell. Keep on watching for updates. But uh, I'm just working on piecing together uh, an input board because uh, when the outputs go, it takes the input out. Usually, the input's pretty easy to fix. So, this input board that I have in here right now, only half the transformers are working, uh, or half the FETs are working. So, I'm going to take that one out and replace it with, I believe it's this one. This one, everything seems to be working. It's either this one or. Uh, this one. No, yeah, this one. Actually, I think it's this one I'm replacing it with. So, we'll see. See how that goes. We're fully charged. Oh, we're fully charged. It's so nice. I'm running a 1500 watt heater in my basement where my sister's staying. And uh, so that's heating the basement. And I don't mind because the heat rises through the floor, even though I did insulate the floor, but uh, it does rise through the floor. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Just a quick update. Hope you enjoyed the video. So we're about at the end of today and we've made about 24.8 kilowatts, maybe a little more. We've got a few more hours of a couple hundred watts. But uh, we are making power through the wind turbine. It's the parent that is it. It is making power because the fins are warm. So it's probably making like an amp or two or something, so maybe a hundred watts or so through the wind turbine. So yeah. Just an update. Thanks for watching. Well, as you can see, we got the 8,000 watt back up and running. I've already run uh, 4,000 watts on it. Everything's working good so far. Hopefully it's better. We'll see. <coughs> Bit of a... Oops. Bit of a, uh, a buzzing sound coming out of it. I don't know if that's new or not. Maybe it's my output stage that I repaired. I don't know. But I got... I mean, not output stage. Input stage that I repaired. I got this input stage almost ready to go. And then I got this output stage. That I'm going to put another. I'll have a second 8,000 watt inverter. And I'm going to have that all put together soon. And... So now I got 8,800 continuous here. Uh, it's about 12 to 14,000 surge between the two. Um, I only say that because they're rated for uh, 6,000 watts, I believe, surge each, but they do surge more than that. I've already seen it from my one. So I'm saying about between 12 and uh, 14,000 surge. And then this is about uh, 7,000 watt. It's kind of pushing it a little bit, but but it can do that continuous. I'd say 6,500. If you, if they had 6,500 watt there, like it can probably do 8,000 watts for a very short period of time. Uh, but for continuous load, I don't think I'd go over 6,500. Um, and what my previous models, I have done quite a bit of uh, 6,500 watt loads and it did last. The, my first one lasted a year before I put over 8,000 watts on it and then it blew up. That was the one that I blew up, and then the other one just blew up on its own. So we're at a 50-50 ratio. I destroyed one, the other one kind of died on its own. I'm hoping this one's gonna be like the first one. It's gonna last a long time. And uh, yeah, so we're doing a full house test. Everything in this room is always 
always running off whatever inverter I have here. May it be the 3000 watt or the 8000 watt. This room is always on there. There's my 3000 watt there. Awesome inverter. That one's good. The central vac runs off of this, which is out here. Everything in the garage as well runs off of the inverter. So this massive central vac, that's about about a 4000 watt surge. Ah, I got the grinder, I got the air compressors, uh, got extension cord going to my house trailer, everything in here always runs off of that inverter, including a, a heater in here because uh, there's no actual heat other than what flows through that door. And on top of that, we have the whole house running. Everything in the house <coughs> is running off grid, off my that inverter. It's only taking 673 watts right now, but still running everything. Uh, the biggest test is going to be my well pump, which is 240, which I have running through a transformer. Oh, that's one more thing I want to show you guys. Check this out. I bought this to go. This sucker is going to go paired with this inverter. So this inverter main power out is going to go through there, through the transformer. Then I'll get split phase uh, 240 out of there, and the house is going to run off of that. And... Uh, yeah, that's how we're going to run it. And I'm wondering if that transformer is going to help help the inverter last longer. I don't know. Anyways, thanks for watching. Okay. So we got the big 10,000 watt um, transformer hooked up. Got a nice brake on the front. This is what I was using to run my well pump before. It was a 3,000 watt. It was a little underpowered. It could do it. But once in a while, if you, if someone had, say, two people had a shower in a row, and then a third person was to start one, sometimes this would trip. Yes, that's right. I have that many people sharing this house sometimes. When I have people, our family over on the weekends, large family. But uh, it did great. Honestly, no complaints. It got a little warm, but it did really good. The breaker worked as it should when it did get overloaded. She tripped. And now I got the bigger one, much, much bigger, three times the size. And that is hooked directly to here. So now the only thing I can run by uh, not going through this um, transformer is to directly plug into the inverter like this. This directly plugs into the inverter. So that power bar is the only thing that's not running through the transformer. That transformer is kind of a waste. Uh, I think it takes around 40 watts just to have the transformer. So this is an experiment to see if the transformer is gonna help with inductive loads for the inverter. Is that gonna take the brunt of it and help the inverter so it doesn't blow? I'm interested to see if this works, I don't know. Cause uh, this inverter can run a lot. I was just running my house, I was running over 4,000 watts again. And uh, I'm just about to switch over. I'm running off the magnets right now. The house is taking almost nothing. 7 amps, 4 amps. Oh, let this thing focus. There we go. So we're just going to shut that off. So there's the magnet sign. Lights went out. No power. Magnet sign's off. We're going to turn the reliable on. And then we're going to turn uh, actually, no. Yeah, we'll just do this. Here we go. Made a great big sound. Oh, yeah. So that's on. Sorry, not watching where I'm filming. That's on. Now it's going to flip the breaker. This is for the reliable. There we go. All the power is back on. And now the whole house running off reliable. We got 110, we got 240 through that transformer. And we're going to see how this works. Give me another test. Oh. And the cool part about this thing, I actually got it for free. Ordered it off eBay. It was supposed to come in, they said, between two and three months. Wow, four months went by. Nothing. No tracking. No nothing. So, I gave them four weeks extra on top of what they said they were going to take to ship. 
So then I opened a, a case and uh, they just gave me my money back because they had no idea where it was or anything. And then another four weeks later, then I got it. So it was two months behind. So I ended up getting it for free. But man, it's a good thing I got it for free. It was so banged up. Like, I don't know if you guys can see this. I, I already hit this with a hammer and banged it, like bent it around the other way. It sheared off screws because it was just, it was mangled. The box was so mangled. I ran out of space on my phone. Anyways, yeah, everything is gonna run off this reliable for now. I wanna see how well it works. Everything seems to be working very good so far. And uh, next up, we're gonna be hooking up some of these. I actually still gonna hook up those. I wanna hook those up first, get that whole battery bank done. Then we're gonna hook these up. I'm gonna do soon. The problem is, is I lost. In the move, moving all this crap, I misplaced the BMS way as a plug in. So I gotta find those now. It's a pain in the butt, because they're so dang small. But uh, yeah, what are we making? We're making almost no power today. Good thing we got fully charged yesterday. So this is, oh, what time is it? Let's see here, one sec. Let's see what time it is. Oh, let's see here. It is 3.30. It's 3.30 right now. We're sitting at 62.4 volts. I would say that's about 50%, maybe maybe 60%, something like that. But uh, yeah, everything's working quite nicely. Loving the system. I already checked the sine wave on the new one. Looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna let this run a little bit. Go uh, turn my water pump on, see how that works. And uh, I'll get back to you if anything goes pop. And uh, just like to thank Reliable for sending me the parts. If you watch this, Awesome. Thank you a lot. Uh, also, I do have the giveaway coming up. A 3000 watt inverter. I've already paid for the shipping, so it's happening. Hands down, it's happening. So, I at least want to get these hooked up, but, well, that might not happen. I'm kind of going by weather, because right now, this is what it looks like. And I don't want to deplete my battery bank in this type of weather. So, what's going to happen is, the next time I have a few sunny days in a row, I'm just going to put like a massive load on the bank. Like I'm gonna try and kill my bank in about five or six hours. Um, and I'm just gonna record how many kilowatts it puts out and then the closest one that guesses it will win. Anyways, thanks for watching. So now I'm doing a inverter no load test. So this is the Magna sign here. This is with one MagnaSign running. You double that for both. I have it set up so it's only one running until it needs a certain amount of power. Then both turn on. So it's taking about 44 watts. Now, shut that off. Actually, that's even a little, a little wrong because this takes 14 watts all the time. So you'll see this now. 13 watts, there you go. 12, 13 watts all the time. So that's the downfall with the magna sign. It's always running. Something's always running. So, but it's an awesome inverter. I love this inverter. It's just a small downfall. One tiny little panel would, would make up for that. So that's that. Now, the breaker on the big transformer is off. We're gonna turn this on now. This doesn't represent all of Reliable's inverters. This one is a repaired inverter. So my input stage is repaired. And it's definitely making a louder buzzing sound than the one I got brand new. I don't know if it's my fault or what, but it does buzz. So who knows, this could go because uh, of my repair. There it is, buzzing a little bit. Now let's go see. The current coming in. Remember, we got to take uh, about 13 watts off. 84 watts. Remember, this is an 8,000 watt inverter, so we're looking at 70 watts just to run the inverter, nothing else. But that could be someone else with this inverter could maybe test this, but that could be because of my repair. I'm unsure. 
but about 70 watts to run it's in standby mode. Now, I'm using a transformer with it. This, I don't really recommend doing it this way because these things are kind of uh, inefficient. You got losses there, you got losses there. So now we're going to turn this on. Now, with both of these on, our idle load with nothing running, absolutely nothing. Pretty well just doubled. A little over doubled. 160 watts all the time. So if you're going to get into using a transformer, you got to understand that. Now, the efficiency might get better when you're running something that I should test actually. We might test that in a second. But anyways, let's turn the lights back on. We're going to go with the reliable. We're going to turn all of our switches back on. Uh, and we're going to plug this sucker in. Uh, right there. There's our lights. Okay. The fridge just turned back on. Got to wash out that stupid thing. Uh, the breaker popped one day. And it melted and kind of wrecked my floor. Look at that. Anyway. Okay. Anyways. That's the way I'm trying it. It's not a fish super efficient or anything like that. It is fairly cheap. That's about thirteen hundred bucks between the two. Okay, not cheap. It's definitely not cheap, but I mean it's cheaper than that. That's one of those are three grand. So that's six grand plus the box. So this is probably about seven thousand dollars there. Thousand dollars. And that was about three hundred dollars. So if that can run what these can almost run, which it can't. We already know it can't. But even if it can get close to one, then that's a really good deal. Half the efficiency, though. A little worse than half, actually. But uh, you can make up with that for more solar panels. You just got to have the battery bank for at night. But that's why we're doing this. We're doing some tests. Like I said, that came free, so it's not a huge deal to me. I was actually going to use the 3,000 watt, but I know for a fact that it can blow up the 3,000 watt easily. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope this video didn't get too long. Hit that like button, helps a lot.